Get a little closer. There we go. Should be alright, right? There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first, I guess, version or episode of mm -hmm. Stripped. Live raw radio show <laughs> with Lenny and Lucia. <laughs> and of course, we are live on ZazRadio.com, everybody. So, what we mean by stripped, we're talking stripped down to the bare bottom, reveal your absolute truths. We want all of you to release yourselves. After hard day's work, Grab yourself a glass of vino. Which we need. That's very much so. <laughs> Next time. Or we'll a be, Cosmo. Yeah, we'll be more prepared. I think we'll okay. have a little vino. More and I always have vino around. It's, it's very surprising for me. Because um, I am meh. <laughs> <laughs> Shake up a martini. Pour yourself a Yakers Brewing Company beer. And watch. Listen. And we want everybody to interject as well. Because we're going to take you all on one hell of a ride through the trials and tribulations of love, relationships, <coughs> and so much more. So, of course, I'd like to introduce my co-host, the beautiful Lucia. Hey, guys. How are you doing tonight? Uh, first, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I do real estate sales during the day, but in my spare time, I like to sing. I teach dancing, fitness classes. What a dream of my mind, a dream of mine was to do a radio talk show, like we're doing right now, about love, relationships, and that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah, you know what? We're really shooting right from the hip. Um... Only we're going in a totally different <laughs> totally direction. Di yeah, a little, very much a totally different direction. Um, we have some juicy subjects. We're psyched about it. Um, of course, myself, for all those that like live under a rock that don't know me, what I will say is, of course, City of Yonkers Zone, DJ Lenny Santawasso. Of course, I developed ZazRadio.com, the ultimate internet Smash up dance radio station and rock star listener experience in the world in um, September of 2017, actually. That's great. And thank you so much. And uh, I'm so glad. Everybody that knows you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you're a part of this. And we, thank you. And we're doing this. And you know what? Me too. Um, every week by week, it's really going to blossom. Get better. Yeah, it's, it's really going to blossom. There's a lot of stuff that we could talk about, you know? And I think what's really cool is you have the male point of view and the raw and real, let me tell you, because you don't get more raw and real than myself. That's so true. And, and, and Lucia's side as well, because she has the woman point of view. Exactly. Now, we're not talking for everybody. Certainly, you know, uh, without a doubt, we have to say that all of our views... And anything that we say does not necessarily reflect the partners and team and family of Zazrio.com and our affiliates. Right. These are just our opinions. These are our opinions. Our advice. Yes. And, of course, it's nobody has to take our advice, but we're just going to voice our opinion. 100%. And we'd like to hear from you guys, too. Hopefully, if you could send your questions and email. You have mm -hmm. the email. Yes. Um, Zazradio.com. And we'd love to answer all your questions on on Facebook Live. Definitely. That would be great. Without a doubt. We're going to make sure that we actually um, put a page together, Stripped Raw Radio. Um, so we're saying Stripped Live Raw Radio uh, show on Zazradio.com. So should we get into it or what? Yep. I think we should get right into should it. Should we get right into it? Okay. You guys ready? So one thing is important that we're going to um, leave enough time, which is very important to us. We're going to leave enough time if you guys have any comments whatsoever. But we, what we want you guys to do, we have a bunch of questions, okay? And a few are anonymous because there's a lot of people that um, message me personally and message Lucia. And there's a lot of questions that we kind of want to go over. So 
we want you to basically, when you comment, put the comment in what you want us to um, explain ourselves in detail. You know, attention to detail more so. Like first, sex. First topic. Everyone's favorite. Always, of course. <laughs> Of when course. is it right? When is it right? When is sex right? You know, for I guess, I think we could talk on, on end, on pretty much anything. I think we could talk about on the single end. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know. Of course, you're in your relationship, you have to have sex. Well, <laughs> well, it's not, exactly. well, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you know. Exactly. So, <clears throat> so we want to make sure that we see you. So, okay, we sorry. go over a little bit. Right. That's okay. You know, I'm not gonna bite you. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I personally, this is interesting um, because this just happened to me, you know, you go out with a guy, you're, you think he's a great guy, you're, you're on the first date, second date, and everything's getting hot and heavy, mm -hmm. and you feel like that's where he's leaning toward, like he wants to have sex with you, and it's only like the second date, and I, anybody out there that wants like a lasting relationship mm -hmm. is not going to want to have the, as a woman, mm -hmm. you know, you're not going to have sex right away. Mm -hmm. So do you or don't you? Because sometimes you feel like if you don't, the guy is just never going to call you again. But then if he doesn't call you, did you really want him anyway? Okay. So. And I'm sure a lot of women feel that same way. So I always look at where did it start? How'd you meet him? You know, right. was it off the internet? <clears throat> was it in a bar? You know? Right. Um, was it. Through events by tiamaria dot com, <laughs> uh, mean, you know one of the singles events <laughs> that's actually coming up May tenth uh, at the Time Hotel in Nyack. So you know I always look at first. You always got to remember where it comes from. Where, but yeah. that's another problem too. Where do you meet a nice guy if you okay. don't go out? Uh, personally, me, I hate online dating. Mm. I'll never do that again. Really, <laughs> I okay. went on. I went on that for like two weeks, hated it. I, I just can't do it. I'm like a little bit old school. I can't okay. do that. I need to see the person to see if I vibe with him. Sure. You know, if there's like a connection. I Chemistry. feel like you can't do that, mm -hmm. you know, through talking to somebody. And then you don't even know if that's their real picture. That's another thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, we get into so, that. Well, definitely. <laughs> so... I just think that where where do you meet these guys? If you don't go to a bar, if you go to like a lounge, you go to like where else do you go? Are you gonna meet some guy in the supermarket while you're shopping? Well, that you know what? The... I'll tell you what, um, and I definitely want to cut you off. So definitely, no, um, respectfully, if you have anything to say, you know, just because sometimes I'll be like, you know, I'll interject. Because there's something in my mind, I'm like, right, oh, right, I right. have to get it out, you know? <laughs> That's how I am yeah. too. So, so it's okay, do the same thing. Okay. But I always look at, again, you know, where are you, you know? Right. And so I, I say to myself, um, if you're going to put yourself out there, then the universe, you know, is yeah. going to listen. So, okay. so therefore, and, and with that comes energies. Your positive energy, because you have a lot of energy. You could sure. see, you could see the energy. You know, so, see. So do you. It, thank you. It all starts to me in the eyes. For me, that's me personally. So you have gorgeous eyes, of course. Thank you. And so to me, when you look into somebody's eyes, then you know, um, you you could. I think you could reveal things. You know, but I will tell you as they approach you, and even when you're talking on the phone, yeah, you'll know their energies. You know? True, but sometimes they can hide it really oh, good. Oh, definitely, without a doubt. Which is which is what stinks because a lot of guys lie. Okay. I'm not saying you. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just saying they lie. They know okay. how to play the game really good. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like suck you in. Mm -hmm. And and you believe it. And so it's like misleading. Because even if you could like look at them, sometimes they can really disguise it. But eventually... <clears throat> Eventually, yeah, but there then it's go. too late. <laughs> okay, but it's eventually. But why is it too late? Because you gave it up. Good, yeah. Is that, oh, okay. Yeah, because right. if you do okay. it too soon and then it's not gonna work, then you just feel cheated because you're like, well, so, you know, I so you got played. Yes, basically. exactly. Well, listen, and we're we gonna want to get played. We're gonna make sure. <laughs> That Lucia, without a doubt, doesn't get played because I'm going to be the coach. I'm going to be your coach. I'm going to be your sex coach. I'm going to be your friend. I'm going to be everything. Okay. That so, so with me, listen, and the thing is, like I said, I think we really need to talk about is I'm divorced 19 years, okay? So I've been single out in the market 
for you know for a good 19 years Me too. you as well Me too. so you. so 2000 right yeah so so it's 19 years so we both have had many experiences we, sat, we, uh, we could tell you horror stories um the first time we actually you know we we talked we met at actually tia's single yes, singles yes, event we did. um and it was uh at the coliseum nightclub in white plains yes and, it, and i you, didn't meet anybody that night well you met me <laughs> <laughs> and no we didn't have sex and we became really good friends you know we yeah. had a chemistry so yeah. it was really cool um but we talked, you know, and it was funny because, you know, mutual friend, Louie Natrella, little Louie, of course. Hey, Louie. Our, our friend Louie. <laughs> so to me, you know, going back to what we're talking about, I just think that, you know, I think it goes back to even further where you could say playing three girls or four girls or vice versa, you, you're eventually going to get caught up because eventually... You're going to tell somebody, you're like, oh, really, Lucia? I didn't tell you that? <laughs> oh, oops, oops, oh, and well. That's happened to oops. me. Didn't, didn't mean to do that, I apologize. So to me, you're eventually going to get caught up. So, exactly. So, so to me, you, you go back to it and say, where are you meeting these people? Okay, that's what I say. All right, so online dating is hard. There's no doubt I about it. I think so. I, I just, well, maybe, I think it, it depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Like, some people have success with it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like anything. You, you, it has to be something you like, you're into or you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. If you're not, then it's not going to work for you. See. So I think that's why it didn't work for me because I just didn't feel comfortable. Well, I could honestly say that I'm a professional online dater. <laughs> I've been online dating for less. Oh, okay. Like I said, it has to be raw and real. Thing. Yeah, I have to be honest. I've been, you know, out there and put myself out there for 19 years. And I could say that I've had four successful relationships. Okay. Four years. The, that's like my max, guys, like four years. But the fact of the matter is, it hasn't been successful because I'm not with somebody. No, exactly. So to me... And I always tell everybody, especially my girlfriends and guy friends, you have to own it. Make sure you own it, okay? True. So you need to, that's why I wanted to call this, and we came up with the name Stripped. Stripped. Because own it and reveal your truth. Reveal yourself. Your stripped down, bare naked self. Right. You know, so that's important. So to me, again, guys are eventually going to get caught up. Women then eventually get caught up. True. I mean, okay. it goes both ways. Yes. It's not yes. like I'm saying just men or, you yeah. know, women too do the same thing. But So, when is it right, sex? Well, for, I would say for me, and, and let's get really back to your situation, you know, where you're saying, okay, you met a guy, you're mm -hmm. really interested in the guy, right? right? Things are getting hot and heavy, and then all of a sudden, you're kissing him, and you're like... <laughs> Hold up. Wait a second. I don't feel anything in his pants. What's going on up there? Like, really? You know? And then, of course, what do you do as a woman? You blame yourself. Like, what am exactly. I doing? What, what exactly. am I doing? You know? Sorry, Holy shit. Sorry, it was me. Yeah, like, it's me. Now, now, you're like, okay. Now, okay, you're waiting for the call back, right? Right. And if he didn't call back, yeah. <clears throat> I'm thinking... Either is two things. Mm -hmm. Either he was embarrassed mm -hmm. or it, it was really me. But then I'm like, it, I don't know. Okay. You know, it just, it's like, what do you think? So you give him the second chance is the question. I did. You get, So you I give did. him the second chance because you felt why? You felt that it was it was you? No, no. I just, I just said, oh, I don't or know. I just, maybe it was him. I wasn't okay. really sure. Okay. I just felt like I liked him enough to like say, let me let me see where where this yeah. would go. Okay, so that's cool. I think that you know, for you to give him a second chance right off the bat is pretty, you know, uh, that's very <laughs> ladylike of you, I guess. <laughs> well, I sense. wasn't gonna have sex with him anyway. No, I know, it was only I know. the second date, I so I kind of said that. I said, you know, I, I think you know that's where he wanted it to go, and yeah. I said, I think it's too soon. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna have sex with you tonight. And mm -hmm. he's like, "Oh, okay, no problem." He didn't seem like it was like, you know, like that big a deal. And I did talk to him after that, but then he kind of just ghosted me after that. Okay, like but, I just never heard. But from you him. know you, what you said, right? What? I'm not gonna have sex with you tonight. 
That's a huge. So that's to, to us guys. No means yes. Not all the time, but in that instance, no means yes. So, so to me, so to me, I'm like, she's telling me this. Why was she even telling me? She probably tells everybody this, you know. So, and it's nothing on you. Well, it's the sense of that's in our minds, you know. Okay. For, from my experience, from my experiences. You know, a woman says, oh, you know what? I, I don't do that. Oh, really, sweetheart? You don't do, yeah, but if you don't you do tell, that? If really? You don't, you don't do, do that? It, then, then you really mean it. Like, yeah. I could have said, no, no, no. Of course. And then, of course. then I said, no. I'm just like, I'm trying to have a, a serious relationship, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to sleep with him that quickly because mm -hmm. then he's going to think I do that with every guy. Absolutely. See, that's, that's, the qu that's the fine line, line here. Yes. If you really like a guy mm -hmm. and you're really turned on by him, mm -hmm. you'd want to sleep with him. Yeah. As a woman, there's emotions going, feelings. But you can't if you want a serious relationship because he's going to think that you do that with every guy. Exactly. So you have to hold back and you have to wait. Where's my drink? And I mean... Excuse me. No, he need water. Oh, no, my drink's over there. It's okay. Normally, I, I mean, yeah, I don't know if there's like, so um, like we got to say a timeline, he, a timeline here, mm -hmm. like two months, three months. It's mm -hmm. probably too long. But Thank you. Even if you wait the time, you still it still could end up like that. Because maybe he's just somebody that could hold out if he really wants to have sex with you. He might wait the time and then never call you after that. So well, you really don't. So how do you know? You're hoping that he waits. Right. You're right, hoping. Right. I mean, you're like you're like I like this guy. We have. You know what? I always say this. It could take a lifetime to meet somebody and connect with somebody. Some people don't. You know have that luxury and, and that sure, luck, sure. that luck actually to meet somebody and same thing with love, fall in love with somebody. People, right. people all their lives check well, that, and, that, and you know, all their lives and it doesn't happen. So when you feel that there's that, that connection. connection and there's that spark, right. you try to grab onto it and hold on to it, but you don't know what the other person's feeling. Exactly. And you're not, and you're not, remember this always, you're not uh, in charge of their feelings. Right. You know, you exactly. can't, you can't control their feelings. So you have no idea. So now you go back to your crystal ball, you know, <laughs> or you pick your roses and you're like, does he love me? Does he like me does not? Me. Does, does he like not? me? Uh... Does he love me? You know, so, so it's a hard thing because there's no wrong or right answer. Right. There truly isn't. Because it could be. He could be the one. Yes. And you could be like, oh my God, this connection. You sleep with them and it could end up being you guys get married and all this stuff. You just really don't know. I guess really what we're saying is you got to take a risk or a chance either exactly. way. Exactly. That's what I and say. you just don't know. One of my other sayings, which I have many, uh, is throw your hat in the ring. Because okay. you know what? What do you have to lose? True. You know? What do you have to True. lose? True. Give you know it a what? shot. Give it a shot. You know what? What do you have? To, okay. It's all about the risk. You know, as long as as long as it's not a bad risk, and the reward is. As long as you use protection. Yeah. Well, that that well, you know, I'm talking about like in general. And the, but no, yeah, I'm saying but to yes, be careful too. You, you know? always have yeah, to yeah, wear yeah, a, a raincoat. Definitely. That's it. Yeah, you definitely have to wear a raincoat, and uh, and when you're jumping out of an airplane, a parachute. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's so that's important. So there's really no right or wrong, you know, it all depends on each and every situation, um, how much you like them, uh, how much he likes you, and uh, and you just take it from there, you know, and how much you guys drink that night, <laughs> because we know, we know without a doubt, where, you know, alcohol, you know, right. so that's, that's the other we've thing, all had drunk, you know, yeah, we've, we've had those nights, and, <laughs> and, those. yeah, very much so, <laughs> but I like that, because you know what, I, I tell all my friends, own it. Own it, you know, and that's what this show is going to be about. It's going to be about right. be stripped, you know. We're going to strip you down right to your bare truth. It's okay. You could just hang out with us, you know. Grab yourself a vino, like I said, a glass of vino, and, uh, and hang with us. Which we'll so, have next week. Huh? Which we'll have next week. Oh, we will definitely have. Cocktails Yeah, I might even, week. I don't know, you know what? Um, I might even get... Uh, 
maybe a waitress and a, and a wait, maybe a bartender. <laughs> a bartender with no shirt on for you. Maybe like the... For you. Like <laughs> Melissa Ann. Happy birthday, Melissa Ann. We had such oh, a great happy party. Happy birthday. We had such a great party. We went to um, over, the, over the weekend. It looked like in a lot of fun. It really yeah. was. It was a lot. DJ Bobby Flowers was phenomenal. I and saw Suave. That. Was Come there, on, what can you That's say? So cool. As always, he's fantastic. Shout out to Joe and Melissa Ann Alonji. Phenomenal <laughs> party. Keep it coming. We can't wait. You know, so um, so if you guys want to comment on, you know, that one sub, the first subject, which is sex. When is it right? Uh, you guys let let us know, okay? And because, like I told you, it's, uh, oh, wow, it's 8.30 already. No, we could so, talk. Okay, we could definitely talk. The two talk. of us can talk. Yeah, we didn't realize that. So, <laughs> we don't need, <laughs> we so, need more than an hour. So it, we might go over a little bit. And we know our boy DJ Derek Florin, our man DJ Derek Florin from Long Island Party People, is going on yeah. at 9 o'clock. He has big announcements, and he's with Tonasia. So shout out to DJ Derek Florin. Um, we're going to definitely, I would say, in about 15 minutes, we're going to try to go through these questions. Um, okay. So 15 minutes, we'll probably uh, break it down a little bit. Maybe, t yeah, about 20 minutes, we'll give it. And then we're going to see what you guys have as far as comments, because we actually want to um, answer your, your comments. So that's the first one. Sex, when is it right? First okay. subject, okay? All right. The second one is, which is really... Interesting. Our second one. Why do women <laughs> love bad boys? Okay. All right. Oh no. Well, so here's here's the thing with me, and I, I want you to talk. I'm the typical Gemini. So I was okay. born I was born June second, and I am the absolute typical Gemini. I have the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the <laughs> other, and they constantly fight back and forth, and at times the devil wins. At times, right. Angel wins. Okay. So, shout out to G2 and Gina Marie, <laughs> our beautiful friends. Brooklyn, mybrooklynbrand.com, wiseguywear.com, wisegirlwear.com. Shout out to Michael Asante, Nick Del Rey. Uh, excuse me, Michael Lewis, Anthony Asante, Nick Del Rey. Um, <coughs> Willie DeMeo, Chris DeMeo, Michelle Francesco's, Nick Francesco's, our, our extended family. And, of course, the Spano family, and we love you guys. Okay, so why do women love bad boys? So that's the way I feel. Like, I have... Okay. I think I have... There's so many layers with me. You know, that's the way I feel. That's a good thing. Yeah, I think there's... So More I, than meets the eye. I think I have a little bit of everything in me, you know? Okay. So I can't say I'm... It's a nice combo. Yeah, I say, you know what... So you're not always a bad boy. Sometimes yeah, I think you like be good. I, yeah, sometimes. You know what? I, <laughs> you know what my perfect guy is. What? My dream, my perfect guy. What's your perfect guy? My perfect guy is a bad boy on the outside, but a good heart on the inside. Like a real good guy on the inside, okay. but he looks the part. Yeah. But he's really not that bad boy. He kind of has that little edge, but he really has a good heart, like mm -hmm. a big heart, mm -hmm. and that's the perfect guy. So here's the crazy thing about it. Every woman, and I don't want this all about be me, you know, but we're talking, right. of course, and we're talk, talking about our truths, and we want to hear your truth as well. Every woman, woman that met me, after they met me, yeah. they always say to me, I really thought you were an a-hole. I thought you were an asshole, <laughs> you know? But when I, you know, and I thought you were like this, hey, yo, hey, what's up, hey, how you doing? This, you know? but, but until I got to know you, you know, I, I realize that you're, right. you're, well, that's what, that's you're an intelligent what, guy. Yeah. And I'm no rocket scientist, but, you know, so that's what I always get. So yeah. I always got that. I don't know about you in the sense of like, you know, oh, you're blonde. And I get that a lot. Yeah, and you know, you're bimbo and this and that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until, you know, they meet they, you. You have to, because you have to, yeah. you can't judge a book by its cover. No, definitely So not. you can't just look at somebody and say, oh, they have blonde hair, yes. they have this high voice, they're going to be ditzy and stupid, because yes. it's not true. No. But it's it's the same thing with, I think, with the bad boys. Like, some of the bad boys are really, they're good guys inside, but mm -hmm. they just have that rough edge, which is what's attractive about them, mm -hmm. you know? But, you know, I guess that's why women love them so much, because mm -hmm. 
who wants a guy that's going to just be, like, boring? You mm-hmm. know, you want a guy that's, like, spontaneous, funny, good sense of humor, mm-hmm. you know, and has that little rough edge. Okay. This is going to be really interesting. Everybody, <laughs> Everybody's going to be real. I have to mention it because this is in my head. Oh, okay. man. Okay. Oh, well, this, yeah. and this is... This I never is, know what you're going to say. Yeah, this is kind of <laughs> strong. This is kind of strong. So, so I look at it this way. This is my kind of measure of things. So... <laughs> It's either three things a guy has to have. Okay. All right. All right. Let's All right. hear this. Number one, uh, size does matter. <laughs> I don't agree S- with second that one. Second thing, second thing, money, or third thing, sense of humor. So if you have two of those three <laughs> out of the three things, guys, guess what? You're doing good. I don't think so. Well, so you let's know, size money. matters to somewhat, but it's really the motion in the ocean. Definitely, <laughs> it's I how you work it. Really, okay. I, I don't, you know, because too much sometimes is too much. Okay. That's all well, I you know, know, well, you know, well, you know, you definitely can't speak for because there's a lot. Of, I can't speak there's for There's a lot everybody. of size queens out there. Oh yeah, there's that's, no doubt that's about true. It. But, so, but, so. I mean, we're trying to be a family show, but we're more of an adult show, and that's yeah. why we kind of... The sense of humor, though, yeah. to me, is, like, at the top of my list. Absolutely. Because, you know, I love to laugh, and sure. I want to be with somebody that's always laughing and having a good time and always making jokes, so... 100%. That, that's, like, number one on my list. So that's... So for me, as far as... That's what so I think... So two out of those, well, yeah. That's what I think we have to have as guys, you know? Okay. So what do yeah. you think you have to have as women to... Attract the guy. Oh boy! What do you think? That's what do you? A tough question. So what do you think? So th- those <laughs> are my like. If I had the answer to that, I wouldn't be single. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so that to me um, is like you know. For, um, what do you think, women? What do you? What do you I think? have to say that what Sense of I, humor? what I think yeah what I think I men want in a, we certainly in don't a want woman, money we certainly they don't want, want a woman money. with confidence hundred percent independent mm-hmm. and a sense of humor. I would say those those three things. You know, someone that can stand on their own that they. They don't. They don't want. Uh, I guess like a clinging girl. Mm. Most guys, I guess. Yeah. I mean, there might be some out there that do. But sure, I don't sure. think so. Sure. So those three things, I think. Well, for me, what I look for in a woman, um, I look for without a doubt sense of humor. Okay. Um, I I'm very attracted to fashion as well. A woman that has style. Okay. You know. See, it's, you're different. Yeah. I mean, every person is different. Like that so. to me, is sexy. Like yeah. a nice pair of shoes. <laughs> there you go. Look at the pair of shoes. There you go. How about that heel? <laughs> What's that, five-incher? This is almost... And what are you rocking? Five and a half. What are you rocking? What are you rocking? These are bamboos. bamboos. These oh, are look bamboo. out. See, and then, you know, then we could talk about that, too. The like, shoes. Yeah, well, the leave shoe the thing. Leave the shoes on. <laughs> leave the shoe on. Definitely leave the shoes leave the on. Shoes without on. a doubt. That's true. So, That's true. So we could talk about that as well, but... Um, I think, you know, that's what I like. I, I guess sense of humor, humor, most okay. definitely. Uh, fashion, style, you know, class. Okay. Class. Um, I'm an eye person. So, I, like I told you, the I eyes. start from okay. the eyes and then I work my way down. So, see, you're different. Yeah. Because cause I've gotten this from, like I had told you when we were talking mm-hmm. about, like, I'm on those YouTube things, and they're always telling you what to do, what not to do. Mm -hmm. You never listen to them because they're all wrong. (laughs) Sure, sure. (laughs) But, yeah, they were saying the main thing was the confidence, Mm. that that men really like that in women the most. I like confidence, but see, I'm I'm attracted to an aggressive woman. Okay. I like independent women. I love women that, you know, have their own stuff, you know? Like real aggressive? Um, Aggressive enough to... You know what, like, you know, what do you want to do tonight? You know, oh, okay. not always okay. wait, not always wait for me to say, babe, what do you want to do? You no, know? Some, like, you know, that yeah. say, oh, I don't care, yeah. whatever you want to do. No, that, yeah, that right there <laughs> yeah. doesn't fly with me. Okay. That won't fly with me. Okay. Like, oh, honey, whatever you want. No, no, no. Listen, I asked you, why don't you answer me? Okay. Yeah, All definitely. Right. Answer All right. me. That's, that's okay. I asked you a that's question, okay. and then I always say, then I always say, be careful what you ask somebody. Because you don't know exactly what the person is going to say. So be careful. True, true. Always remember that, everybody. No okay. matter what it is, you know. Okay. Even in business, you know, generalized. So to me, okay, fashion, um, good energy, of course. Aggr- aggressive. Positive, okay. aggressive, aggressive. Okay. Uh, fun, of course. But a real good sense of humor. And kind of 
always have that flow of conversation. Right. You know, there'll be communication. a communication. Be commu- able to talk to somebody. Communication, yeah. everything. Now, for me, one again, another one of my sayings <laughs> is stimulate my mind, and the rest shall follow. <laughs> I like that. That's it. That's cool. So, so here's the crazy thing. We know you women are so mental. You are you hundred percent mental, yeah. emotional, emotional, mental. mental yeah. Okay. So with us guys, we're physical. It's about physical. We're physical. Right. We see eyes. We see breasts. You know. <laughs> we see ass. You know. We see everything. So True. we. So that. So we have the perfect woman in my our minds. You know. And, right. And we're like okay. So it's really funny in, in that sense uh, because we're like I don't do you, do you guys remember Weird Science? Remember with Kelly LeBron? Oh yeah, yeah. You like know, back movie. in the day. That's a cool. So movie. so that is us. We wanna so put. You're gonna make your perfect. We woman. wanna make our perfect woman. Well, guess what? Heads up, you can't make no perfect woman. And you can't get the perfect guy. You can't get the perfect you can't. guy. You know. You can't. This is it. Newsflash, everybody. It's not gonna happen. You could try. So like, it's not gonna happen, um, and you know they're hey listen. The perfect guy is, you know what I say? Mm. I'm not looking for the perfect guy. I'm looking for the perfect guy for me. Me, absolutely. Okay. Because you know you're not gonna yes. find the perfect guy. Yes. Yes. Or it's like too good to be true. There's mm. always gonna be something. You know everybody has faults, so yes. you're not. That's not gonna happen. So why do women love bad boys? What do you did we mean? answer? Did we answer I it or what? I think we did. I think we ran around the block and then came back. I think a little bit. We, I, one I, question. Because uh, I think because because they're bad boys and they they have the edge. Yeah. And they and they turn you on because they have that little edge to them. So ladies, we know it's going to be yes, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hearts with this one. But why do women love bad boys? That's number two. Okay. If you guys want to. Um, for us to answer that, certainly, uh, without a doubt, comment on it and we'll answer. So, okay, here's number three, which is not as juicy, but oh, no, it's not this juicy. is a big one. Why are men so afraid of commitment I like this one. these days? Okay. I you guess want me that, to say why? <laughs> yeah, why do, you, why do you think? Yeah. You know what I think? Mm-hmm. I think the, the main reason in that is, is one word, change. Okay. They're afraid of commitment because they're afraid of their life changing. Say like a, a guy has been single for so long, he's in that bachelor mode, and all of a sudden he's with this girl and he really likes her, but one part of him is like wants to take the next step, but the other part is kind of like, oh, I don't want my life to change, you know, I don't want to stop going out with my friends, she's going to be nagging me, she's going to be clingy. So I think that's what goes on in their head, am I right? Because I'm just, I think, <laughs> I'm I think, learning all this I stuff. I think you're, um, remember when you played that game and you, and you put the, the eggs, you know, on Easter time with the plastic eggs? Yeah. You know, and put, oh, wait, you hide them? Yeah, hide them. You put them. money in them? Yeah, well, yeah, guess yeah. what? When you say, oh, you're hot, you're hot, you're hot, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're cold. No, you're on the other side of the yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. You're hot, you're hot, you're hot. Well, guess what? You're hot. You're very hot. That's true. And to, yeah, a lot true. of it's okay. true. Right. There's no doubt about it. We do not like change. Uh, we don't. Especially when you get older because you're definitely set in your ways. Exactly. No doubt about it. That's and that what goes, makes it harder. Yeah, that makes it very much harder. But, you know, again, I think you have to really look at the situation. Uh, you know, if a guy is, you know, older and he has a family and he has kids, mm-hmm. it's a different, you know, view, I think. Yeah, that's As a different. single it guy. It depends on the guy. It really does. Just saying most guys, the single guys that are out there. Mm-hmm. And, and We're generalizing. you yeah. know, they just, like, I think, um, well, this is going to go on to that other question, but I don't want to. <laughs> I think just women get, um, some women get a bad rap because of other women, just like men do. Sure. Like, if, if you go out with a couple of guys and they do all the same thing to you, then the next guy in your head, you're going to be thinking, oh, is he going to do what this guy did? So it, so it's hard sometimes because everybody's different and you have to always keep that in your head. Mm-hmm. Everyone's different and keep an open mind and just make sure that if this is the guy you want, you know, you give him the benefit of the doubt before you say, you know, he's just like all the rest. Yeah. And it's funny you say that because... Another one of my sayings is, <laughs> you have uh, a lot of sayings. I love everybody until they prove to me they're an asshole. 
You know, so really, okay. so I'll give everybody the, the benefit of the doubt right. until proven otherwise. Exactly. And, exactly. And I think that's the way you should approach it, you know, in that sense. Yeah. You know, um, love everybody until they prove to you right. that you can't, you know. Which is what I like But a lot of people go into it, think everybody's a, an ass. True. Until they prove to them that they're a good that person. they're not. So to me, it's kind of weird. You know, it's, it's, it's a double standard sometimes in that sense. Um, but I think you're hot. I think you're very hot and you're, you're around the egg. Very, okay. very close around the egg. Right. I think you got the, I hit it right if there's, <laughs> if there's 12 eggs, you have like 11. Okay. You got the 11. Okay. But that last egg, you know what? Um, you're, you're close to it because okay. there is a lot of things out there that, um, you know, that, you know, there's a lot of different things that it could be, you know? Right. Um, in any situation, so you have to watch with that. So, um, so that's the third one. Why are men so, so afraid of commitment these days? So, okay. if you want to comment on that, guys, definitely yeah, comment on that one. We really one. want to hear your comments. Yeah, so we definitely. Please email. Uh, email, and we're gonna, you know, we're actually we gonna get back. A couple of questions. Well, we're gonna answer. Um, we're going to answer that's on these subjects. Okay. okay. Probably like I would say in another five ten five, minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's going by okay. fast. Wow. I know. Uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll spend a little bit longer. Maybe next week we'll see. Okay. But we have to just check on our friends because we don't want to overlap on anybody. Okay. Because I know my friend um, goes on at night. DJ Derek Florent okay. goes on. Yeah, and that's why I, I didn't want to do it on Monday. Uh, uh, excuse me, I didn't want to do it on Tuesday because we have a friend Karen Stacy does her show, and then Wednesday live with Tia, she does uh, you know Chic Radio Talk Show. I didn't want to do that. And then Thursday, we're getting into, of course, Gigantes with DJ Surge this uh, Thursday. Thursday Surge. Yeah, DJ Surge <laughs> in the house. Uh, shout out to Surge and Gigantes in East Chester, New York. Uh, phenomenal. Great place. Really awesome place. Uh, of course, I always say tasty drinks. Really awesome vibe. and Great music. Great music and good food, of course. You know? All right, so this is a really good one. So we'll do one. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go as far as okay. we can. Okay. All right. So number four, older women, younger men, <laughs> younger. Um, what was it? Older women, younger, younger men. men. Okay. And uh, then the vice versa. Vice versa. <laughs> there you go. So what do you? So what do you think of that? Older women, younger men. Uh, I think it's a little. A Sex in the city ish, yeah. you know, like yeah. it's so funny because I could shout out, of course, Christina Cavallo. What's up, Christina? Um, a lot of people don't have Facebook, so um, so people are actually listening on Zazzrita.com because we are 100% live on Zazzrita.com. So our friend Christina Cavallo mm -hmm. doesn't have Facebook, so she has Instagram. Oh, okay. New York Shoe Queen, who uh, <laughs> T is actually going to be interviewing. Uh, and uh, and D. Kapnek is an entrepreneur, um, older gentleman, and so that's coming up next. It's, it's live, um, uh, she radio talk show okay. live with Tia. Cool. So that's cool. So um, nothing had to do with older women, younger men, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just just talking about um, the whole thing with um, live uh, on Zazradio.com. Okay. Okay? okay, so. Go ahead, give it a shot. So, All the women, young men. Let's see. Why do what's what do what do we want to know about this? Why is it? Why do younger men like older women? You want me to answer that one? I have I have a confession. Anybody? Well, anybody <laughs> you like older women. Right? Anybody that knows me, um, I I think six out of ten relationships that I've had over been the years older? been older women. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, I was going to ask you yeah. why. Cause... Okay. I think it goes back to um, learn lessons. I think in the sense of... Do you think they have more experience? Yes. They have experience. Not only sexual. They're more mature. More mature. And I'm going to tell you, this is a big one. Games. Less games. They don't play games. Yeah, less games. Because a woman, an older woman knows exactly what she wants. Right. 99.9% .9 of the time. And she's and that's why I like the older women in the sense of because they're they know. But there's a lot of women out there that have old souls and they know exactly what they true, want as well. True. You know what I'm saying? Depends on the person. So it could be so it all depends, you know, it could be younger, could be older. I think you get to 
I think you get to know somebody. I always give somebody, and I will say this, three to six months. Okay. Because you should know somebody. Yeah. In those three to six, that, sure. period, that period, three to six months, you should really get to know somebody and somewhat their habits and, you know, a, a real good gist of them. And so I like to, you know, keep that on the back burner. You know what I mean? Like, I've, and I found myself, I will say, um, jumping into relationships. But now, I've seemed to kick it back a little bit. Okay. And, and for me, I say, this last one, I want to happen. That's it. I want this to be the last, mm -hmm. you know? You, you know, again, That's if it. there's chemistry, you want to get to know somebody, you don't have to jump into something. I think, you know, you take your time, get to know somebody, because it's faster, it's like a candle. Faster, it'll go out. True. It will go out. So it's good to just take your time, get to know somebody, and um, and uh, keep that flame burning. It's you know? like that old keep that saying, flame if burning. I only knew, if I only knew then what, what I, I know, know now, now. Yeah. it's so true. Like yeah. when you get older, you're you're like, oh, why didn't I think this way? Yeah. Because the same way for me, like I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to find the, the next guy and hopefully that's going to be the one mm -hmm. that we're going to have a committed relationship. Hopefully you get married again. I would like that, but me too. It's it's just exhausting. <laughs> I just gotta say that because I've been on so many dates and so many bad relationships that just sometimes it's like you said, you really want to take your time. Mm -hmm. Like you you have that that experience now because you're older and now you're saying, well, let me just take my time. Maybe maybe that's what I did wrong. Maybe mm -hmm. I jumped in too quick and it. It didn't work. Yeah. But I think that, yeah, that, that what you said, I agree with what you said. I can't really elaborate on that. Mm. That's why I think um, younger men like older women, yeah, for that, that kind of thing. I Experience think so. in, mm -hmm. in life. Yes. I don't want to say, like you said, not just sex, but in life in general. You know, you know what it is with us guys? We want to be challenged as well. So That's me true. So mentally, if we're challenged by something that we don't know, let's be honest. You're gonna want it's to gonna be really yeah. hard to get to know like like okay 10 15 year difference yeah it's gonna be very very hard to learn something from somebody really that young at times there are a lot like I said there are people there are a lot of women that are old souls and that they're very much That's you know the very much uh, ahead of the game in that in that sense very intelligent i think i'm like that because i th i always say i i you feel like I, so I was born like in the 50s no, so because i always i'm always i'm very like old school and you know well this is i don't know if we're gonna get to that topic about romance and chivalry and all that no we could go but, into it it's okay but i really feel like we need more of that today women need we need more romance on um, guys and girls we, we, we need a guy who opens the car door for us or comes over and wants to, like, grab the packages for you or help you out. Even though we don't need him to do it, mm -hmm. it's nice to to have yeah. a guy that wants to do that. And I, I think that's what's missing in the world. I really do. Romance. I think you speak for a lot of people. I really believe so. I think, so. I think I you think speak for a lot of women out there. And I think that is without a doubt. But I'm going to tell you one thing that us guys don't really do. Listen. <laughs> it's very, you know, unfortunately, I'm not putting us, I'm not putting us men down. <laughs> communication. But is communication important. is everything. Yeah. And the most important thing a woman wants from a man is to listen. That's true. If she's having a bad day, she guess what? Just shut up and listen. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just just shut. Let us vent. Yeah, just listen. vent, yeah. just vent. But yeah. guess what? You know what? That's true. And and I'll tell you what. If you want me to say something, I'm gonna ask you. Mm -hmm. Meaning you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Lucia, you know what? Oh my God, it's such a hard day. Whatever it is. All right. Lay it on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lay it on me. All right. That's fine. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to listen. Right? It's like such a, such a, a horrible thing that God made men and women so different. Very much so. So different. And it just Mars, like, Venus. Oh, uh, yeah, it's from, so true. From planet Earth to planet Mars, you know? Um, because, and it's phone. great. And I think... <laughs> It's, it's crazy, everybody, but I will tell you, like you, I've always been intrigued by relationships. And, me too. And what, came, and what brought me to this place, which was kind of, I will say, is like a dream of mine to have a show and 
who better to do it with you? And it's really awesome. Uh, my so, dream so, too, so, so thank you. Yeah, so this is real. You. This is really awesome that we have a platform on zazradio.com to thank do this. Thank everybody else. Yeah, out there yeah. For yeah oh, in. let me tell you, we have to thank everybody for the love and support. Yes, definitely. Because each week it's gonna get better and better. You're gonna hear the raw, real version that's of right. of it from me, and and Lucia is gonna say the same thing, you know. And that's great because women, you want to know something? Let me tell you. She's been around the block in the sense of, you know, she's dated, and I'm the same way. I've, I've dated as well. But, and I don't pretend, and I'm not saying I know women, but I can tell you this. I had two sisters. I grew up with women. And every, I tell you, even my, my guy friends have always asked me for advice. And I always gave them the raw and real, you know, advice. And, okay. and it's always been on point, but I will tell you, for myself, impossible. I could give the advice, but, but to take, take it for it, yourself. Yeah. So I'm That's owning true. that. I'm so owning that, guys. I really am. And to me, you know, that's the thing with older women for me. You know, I, I think it was, I was always intrigued by like milf, milf, milf <laughs> in American Pie. Why? The milf, I didn't know you were going to Like say that. milf. Something She's like a that. milf. She's a milf. <laughs> so to me, I was always intrigued by that. The cougar. Like, I was always, there's something like, like that, you know, the, you know, I was always intrigued by that because, again, no games, right. you know, less, less games. Because even my mother says, even, hey, Len, even at this, even at this stage of the game, we play games. You know what I'm saying? She said it to yeah. me. You know, but less. everybody does. But a lot but... less. Less. Very, you know, not as much, of course. True. So, um. But I'd like, I hope. Everyone would write in um, email questions because that would be really nice to yeah. to answer all your questions. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put together our page um, stripped, of course, live raw radio show uh, with Lenny and Lucia. We're gonna definitely put it together, and uh, you know what? We're gonna Either. go with we're gonna go with one more question, um, and and this is. Uh, Are we running out of time? Yeah, we're kind of running out of time, but we're gonna go with one question. Okay. We might go over. Maybe five or ten minutes. We don't want to take anything away from DJ Dark Florin. Uh, but this is a good one, okay? Um, should you be friends with an ex? <laughs> Come on, Lucia. I say, I say it's okay. It's, it's a, again, it depends on the situation, mm -hmm. but um, it depends on how you end and how you left off with things. Mm -hmm. If you left off on a on a good, on a good note, mm -hmm. then it's fine. You know, you can talk if you guys, if you guys don't have those feelings anymore, and there's no emotions or anything, and you can strictly be friends. And yeah, I think it's okay unless you're dating somebody that has a problem with it. Then I could see where, you know, the other person you're with might feel uncomfortable with it. But if it, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I am you don't one, agree. Well, I'm one of the most confident. <laughs> well, I can tell you, I'm one of the most confident guys. You know, I'm the type of guy, and I always say this, another yeah. saying, of course, is always let a woman, woman be a woman. Okay. Do her. Right. Go have fun. Do what she has to do. Never up anybody's butt. Just do what you have to do. You That's know what? Good. That's good. Thing. Always, always, no matter what. But there are reason. F there are X for a reason. Because you X them out. <laughs> X, you X them out. So to me, but in, or, in order to go on and move on, you can't look back. And to me, the one thing that's a huge pet peeve for me is when women talk about their exes all the time. Well, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't you should do that. do that with your friends, but not do it with a guy you're dating. Exactly. Definitely don't do but that. But I yet. will tell you, but I will tell you, I respect it. Because now I'm finding out things what what work works for her. Okay. What she's like. So I'm so I'm like kind of see. The, I'm the type of guy which is. Uh, so I'll say this really fast. Actually, I'm the type of guy that'll be like Lucia. Tell me something that you've never done with a guy, ever that you want okay. always do that you always want to like do. Like a fantasy. Fantasy, mm -hmm. sexually it could be, sexual could or, be, or, or, or anything, or anything, okay. or anything. So it doesn't matter to me. 
So what I did with one of my girlfriends, I said, I want to do something for you for your birthday. Yeah. That you've never done with anybody else. What is it? She goes, now, mind you, I'm petrified of heights. She goes, oh, no. <laughs> I want to go on a hot air balloon ride. Oh, no. I said, oh, my. How, how am I possibly <laughs> going to make this happen? How is this going to happen for me? So sure enough, one, one morning I woke her up. And, of course, while she was at work, I had it. off. I had off. And I, uh, I called up the places all the upstate oh, wow. in New York. And she came home, and I'll never forget it. That weekend, because I lived with her for a little bit in Jersey, and um, I woke her up. I said, I, I got some you know, really awesome plans. She's like, really? I said, I got to blindfold you. So I blindfolded her, and I took her on this ride. She's like, where are you taking me? Where are you taking oh, me? Because no. you know, she was those type of women, one of those women that, I don't like surprise. All. I said, listen, shut up. You know, <laughs> shut up. You believe me, you're gonna love it, and sure enough, it was an hour and a half, and we're you know we're bullshit, and we're and she has this like blindfold on, and we're and we're singing songs in the yeah. car and everything else. Oh my god! Yeah, so it was pretty cool, and sure enough, is an open field, and she hears, she goes, "What's that noise?" I said, "Open your eyes," and sure enough, she's seen all these hot air balloons. Oh my god! And I was like. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> because I'm so nervous Are right now. Oh, yeah. oh my! When I told you, I was like, oh. my heart was like this. But knowing you that I, it? knowing that I did this for her and made her dream happen, her dream like yeah. you know date happen. I hope she appreciated she that because you being afraid of heights and everything. She wow. did. She did. And know what really was nice. know what was awesome? That's nice. That somebody actually got engaged on the same. Oh, yeah. On the oh. hot air balloon ride, yeah. But know what I didn't like, which was kind of weird. We we went about tree high, like we're talking maybe about a hundred feet, okay. which is which is which is not, which is pretty high. That's you know? high. That's okay, high. Okay, it's pretty high. That's high, but some of them go higher, right? But yeah. So now, here we are, about an, I could say about a half a mile down the road, half a mile down the road. The truck goes all the way over there. Yeah. We land. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to grab her. You know, we'll have a nice, you know, uh, bottle of champagne. Right. Cel celebratory nice. champagne. Nice, you know, with, yeah. little, with strawberries. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm getting lucky tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm doing all the right things. That's it's it, romantic. right? That, yeah, so it's romantic, you know. It's what she wanted. And sure enough, the guy goes, oh. I'm like, what's up? He goes, you going to help us? I'm going to help you with what? I paid you five hundred fifty dollars for friggin' a half an hour, yeah. and now I gotta help you put the free put the hot air balloon. I'm like, are you kidding? So, you? so it was pretty cool because she has me with the with the rope oh, pulling so the you rope. Helped him? I helped them. Yeah, I helped them. <laughs> That's him. too fun. So how cool is that? So that now here, cool. so I got my hands dirty a little bit. I know you girls are really, you know. Very, I know you're loving that. That's very but, romantic. So, so that was I romantic. I say that was very nice of you so, to do. So should you be friends with her next? You say no? I don't think you should be. I say it's okay. Um, I don't know. It depends hard. on the situation. That's how I'm going to go with it. Depends. I will say this. If there's kids involved, 100%. Okay. Because you don't want to ever. I'm friends with my ex-husband. Yeah, well, see, you know what? I haven't seen mine in 19 uh, years. Well, he's in like family. Years. He's like my family. I know I, since I'm like and there, seven. And you have no old. kids, right? No. No. Okay. No. So, but but, but he's my best see, friend. See, but I respect that. I respect that. I just, it's kind of you know, I always respect. I always respect, but I'll give you my raw, real advice right, right. on it. You know, in that I mean, sense. that's what I say. I said it depends. It really depends on the situation. On the situation. Yeah, yeah, it does. I think it really does. Think. So. So, so we can wrap it up. We're out of time. <laughs> you know what? Until until next week, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, we'll spend 10 minutes on your questions. Let's see who checked in. Um, and uh, we hope you like the show. Uh, this is the beginning, guys. And I think it's going to be really awesome. I really believe so. Me too. I think we have some really awesome things to talk about. Um, there's so much out there that people want to know. So let us know. Uh, definitely, without a doubt, send it over to our page, which we're gonna we're gonna develop after this, and we're gonna take it. We're gonna give you guys a little close up 
right now. Oh, there we go. Let's not. I'm too close. There we go. Okay. All right. So we have to see. All right. So we have Freddie Brady. Look how gorgeous she is. Look at those beautiful <laughs> eyes. Come on. Look at those eyes. I was too close. Come on. Look at those eyes. Come on, Lucia. I'm trying to read it. Okay. So we have Freddie Brady, Samir, Tiffany. What's going on? Don't forget, DJ Derek Florin. Um, we have Teresa. Philip, what's going on? Stephanie Sampson. Oh, thank you so much, Alicia. <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> oh, we appreciate it. My husband's Aww. a great doc. Oh, Thanks, what's Sally. up, Linda? What's up, Linda? That's it. Shout out to your people. Joe Rigo, what's up? Nick. Linda Rayo. Joey Q Jr. in the building. Lenny Spano, what's up, my brother? The whole Spano family. Scott McGowan, hi, Nancy. Alicia, how are you? Camille Spano, we are. We hope John's feeling better. Uh, I'm a little older than my husband. Linda, <laughs> Sally Boy Curdo, what's up, oh. Sally Boy? There is, oh, shout out to our, now let me tell you, Joey Action is, is uh, a phenomenal, brand new artist and, uh, we like to welcome Joey Action. He's absolutely, he has two songs, uh, I'm sure a bunch of songs, but there's two songs in particular that we incorporated in our flashback work mix okay. from Monday through Friday, um, 9 to 5 on Zazzradio.com. We're ecstatic, and we're also going to announce we're going to have him open up for Naomi oh, cool. Gomez. Oh, yeah. Naomi. Come on, the 13th. on Saturday, Everybody. April 13th. So don't 13th. forget, guys. We're so happy. We're so ecstatic uh, because these songs are really, oh, I Always Love You and Day by Day. They're really awesome songs. So thank you. Thank you, Joey Action. And we're really looking forward to it. Surprise, everybody. So that's going to be great. Um, and definitely go to Joseph Julian. Uh, without a doubt, friend them. Leslie Ann Silva, what's up? Natalie, Joanne Bichetta, what's up? <laughs> Leonardo, a good marriage should be 50-50. Yes, Linda, yes, yes without a doubt. Gina, what's up, Gina and Nick Sirocco? There's there's our man, Joey Action. Make sure you friend request from Joseph Julian, okay? Okay. Leslie uh -huh. Ann Silva, we're waving to everybody. <laughs> Joanne Bichetta, trapped. Steven, what's up, Steven? Entrapment, you need choices. Hi, Lucia. Hi, Lucia Love. <laughs> Hi, Ali. Uh, what's up, Ali? How are you? Bad boys, spicy, risky, out of the box. Oh, okay, yeah. Diane. Okay, thanks, well, Diane. Diane, thank you, Diane. Well, she's a teacher. She knows her we stuff. love it. She knows her stuff. That's right. DJ Ramadelli, what's up? Mind, body, and soul. There you go. Basil, I'm right here. Scott, have to have a great personality. That's right. Visually stimulated. There you go. Diane, well, well said, Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, Lenny. Basil. Oh, Carlo. What's up, Basil? Carlo Russo is in the house. You know who Carlo Russo is? No. The Uncle Louie Variety oh, Show. Uncle Louie. Yeah, Carlo Russo. <laughs> Lou Greco. Tony, what's up, Uncle Nap Louis? Tony Napoli Events. <laughs> okay. And uh, Anthony Prosciutti, which is a magician. Joanne. Sal Bongiorno. What's up, Sal? Aaron, how are you? Jimmy Nolan in the house. Shout out to Michael Nolan, memorialfund.org. I feel like I just saw you yesterday. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Diane Foot. Cleveland Brian, what's up? Who is that? Scott Wait. McGowan, hysterical. L Linda? What's up? Uh, who's that? Linda? Love. Oh, love the shoes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me, let's see them. Let's see them. Let's see them. Boom. There you, there you go. go. Five inches. Five there you inches. go. Boom. There we go. <laughs> That's the way we gotta do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad I have my tan. I'm a little red, actually. I need a tan. I'm actually I gotta a little go red. tanning for the next show. Uh, Frankie Fermanti, what's up? Nancy Heron, no clingers. That's right. John Blivin, what's up? How are you? Thank you so much for checking <laughs> in, guys. Sense of humor is so important. Money can't buy happiness. Exactly, Jen Esposito. Yes. But a man, oh, but a man who can make me last is a man who grabs my heart. Yeah. You know what? I like that. Oh, here's here's the other thing. I like that. If you women could cook, 
That's right to our stomachs. That's right. That's it. The way to a man's heart is to his stomach. That's it. And so true. for this man, my let grandma me. Grandma always used to. And for my this, no, no, used to always say that. All the time. And you're known now. Uh, <laughs> you know what? And for this man, believe me, all my friends, Tia Maria, Frank, Frank Alanello, everybody could tell you that I could eat. You know, look at the freaking things are red. Wow. <laughs> all right. So, Joanne, hi, Lenny. You two are funny. Nancy, <laughs> Dominico, Joanne. Linda, all right, we're, we're going. Oh, a lot of people checked in, which is yes, awesome. Yes, yes. Jim, wow. what's up? Great. Bruno, what's I love up? It. Allie Fiore, what's up, Allie? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'm out of here. Try to interact with audience more if you can. We'll make it more interesting. Oh, Billy, thank you so much. We appreciate. Listen, we're only going to get better, and we appreciate your construct, constructive criticism. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, Bailey, we definitely want to interact, but it's going to be a little later. I wish we could have people yeah. actually call in. That yeah. would be cool. But... I think we're eventually going to do that. Yeah. You know, we could definitely do that. We but have I... people talk on the air. That but we absolutely cool. think that uh, we appreciate your constructive uh, criticism because you know what? We need it. There's no doubt about it. Um, Dina, Bo how are you, Dina? Spicy risky guys attract attention, but a tender hearted guy is usually the bottom line for me. That's it, Diane. Yeah. Robert Hulk, Hellbilly, nice. Bangs, what's up? Jen Esposito. Jen Oakers, how are you, Jen? Linda. Linda Gladwell, what's up? Shout out to Gladwell family. De Los Santos Lupe, how are you? Laura Chima, what's up, Laura? Donna DeGuardia, what's up, Donna? Diana, how are you? Bailey from the Bronx in the house. Women are attracted to bad boys, but don't settle in them. They are great to play with. There you go, <laughs> Bailey. That was, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bailey. I'm definitely going to message you because I really want to uh, tell you that thank you so much for your. And tell her to write in some questions. Yes, most definitely. Lorraine, oh, me too. Gemini, life is a struggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joe Bellino, what's up, Joe Bellino? Will it be a weekly show? Yes. It's, it's actually we got to get more questions. It's Next week, we're going to answer more questions. Yeah, but it's going to, to be. To make a, it more interactive. Most, most definitely. We're going, it's definitely going to be a weekly show. There's no doubt about it. Um, we're going to, you know, of course, get better each and every week. Um, different subjects. It's not only going to about, you know, be relationships. It's actually going to be about a little of everything. Yeah. You know, life. If you guys want to know something and you want our opinion on it, like I said, we're not professionals. But, exactly. But I could tell you that we've lived our life. I'm 46. She's 37. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an April Fool's, even though she really... Happy we April Fool's Day. A woman doesn't say but her age. That's, right. that's right. Keep it classy, 100%. Keep it classy. So interesting. Uh, will it be... So Bailey, yes, it will be. Sex, that's a huge question. John Moriarty, what's going on? What is the well, show yeah, about? a lot of people. Lorraine, yeah. Wow. See what happens? Bailey. That's cool. So Donna, we're definitely going to interact with our crowd uh, maybe next week what we'll do is we'll an say? <laughs> we'll say the question we'll, we'll we'll you know we'll talk about the question and then we'll comment and go to uh, our page you know what I'm saying so that'd be cool. Okay. Angela, forget about it. Oh, <laughs> Angela, how are you, Angela? Guess it each, Angelo. <laughs> Dawn Bryan, look at her. She's got a feet up. Look at this. Nice, right? Nice, real nice. Okay, very cool. Uh, no, never means yes. No, never means yes. Josephine, you're hundred percent right. Yep. I was just joking around, and it's totally all right to joke around. Yeah. Um, Joe Trees, what's up? Cheryl Rizzi, I agree. What's up? No, never means yes. Angelo, Andy Chirelli, what's up, my brother? <laughs> Dawn, hello, oh, Crucia Miscatelli, Ghost, <laughs> Sam, how are you? Tia Maria Montemurro in the house. What's up, T? <laughs> Hi, and, Tia. And Frank. And Danny Scano and Tatiana, that's when they ghost. Rhonda, how are you? Well, we got a lot of people. Tia. Yeah. Anna, what's up, Anna? Oh, by the way, everybody, as you can see, I'm in my hometown city, Yonkers. April Fools, everybody. I'm not in Tuscany, Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, Thank for, you guys. for going in with the... That was so cool. Scott McGowan, Anthony Piazza, Stephen Tavert, what's up? Irish guy here with great hair. Scott, you're a pisser. The <laughs> creature, that was great. It's easier to remember the truth than a lie. There you go, Scott. Absolutely. I think we have a match. Dawn Bryan, 
Joanne. Phil Smooth, what's up? Kimberly, what's up, Kimberly? And Rob, how are you? You should get together, Josephine Baker. <laughs> Liz Steves, how are you? Fine. Appreciate it. Joanne, what's up, JoJo? How are you, JoJo? My beautiful Dean Renzi in the house. What's going on? Marta Anna, how are you? Dawn Bryan, wow, a lot of people checked in. It's cool. Diane Antonio. Tara Court, what's going on? Vincenzo, Peter Timlin, what's up, Pete? Richie Karp in the building. Michael Scuderi. DJ Ross, the boss in the house. See you. What's up, brother? DJ Ross, the boss. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Ross, the boss. There he is. What's up, B? Erwin Vasquez. Francesca. Angelina. What's up, Angelina? Jacqueline. What's up, Jacqueline? Nancy. Well, we got a lot of... Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Christina. Al Serrano, my friend. Al Serrano. <laughs> You're all our friends. Francesca. Rue Ross. What's up, Rue Ross? <laughs> in the building. Yaka's uh, voice in the building. Anthony Tadio, What's up? Shell Rizzi, Joanne, Louis Moons, what's up, Louis Moons? <laughs> Rob Fiska in the building, what's up? Come on, come over here. We're not finished yet. No, I was just We're not finished checking yet. something. Tina Love. I don't want to mess up the you're good. couch here with my shoes. You're good, you're right, don't worry. I'll let you know if you mess up something, believe okay. me, don't worry. I know you will. Maria, <laughs> <laughs> Bianca, what's up, Bianca? Nancy. So, the people that are listening on Zazarina.com and Rosemary, Gia Marino McMahon, what's up, bro? Thank you so much to everybody that Thank checked you in. Guys. How Love awesome you guys. is that? How awesome is it? And they're That's still amazing. checking in. Rosie, Claudia Fowles, what's up, Claudia? We love you, Claudia. Ron, you're the man, bro. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Diamond Jeanette, how are you? Gina. Oh, G2. Are oh, you feel a lot better tonight? Say hello to my uncle for me. <laughs> Oh, Joanne, listening is important. Respect and empathy. That's right, Claudia, 100%. Angela, LJ Riccardi, Rosa, the whole Spano family, Pauli Policelli, what's up? Jeff Keating, what's going on, Jeff? G2, <laughs> Claudia. All right, so you guys all checked in. Paul Policelli, oh, this is awesome. It is. Trisha, wow, look, they're still coming. We got coming. a good turnout. Yeah, we have awesome. See? See what happens when you have a good-looking girl and you talk about sex? <laughs> <laughs> and a good-looking guy. I'm not too bad. See? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, we really are ecstatic. What's up, Michelle Benson? Jake Nassa in the house. Joe Mock, NY, NYP. Yaka's Police <laughs> Department is in the house. All right, guys. You know what? Michael Rinaldi, thank you so much, everybody, for checking yes, in. Thank you, guys. Um, we love you. We love you. And Please keep tuning in to us every that's Monday. Right. Strip. So what are you making me for family? Oh, my God. So funny. <laughs> so listen to me, guys, okay? We want you to uh, send your questions. Message me or Lucia Love, all right? Any question you guys have. Yes. Uh, we're going to do it again, of course, Mondays. Week. From 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., okay? And uh, we want you to share it. Share it to all your friends. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. This is this was really fun. Blast. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, it really was. Um, what else do we want to say? That uh, we're very thankful, and uh, we really appreciate your love and support. We're going to go right to DJ Derek Florence page right now. So check him out. DJ Derek, D-E-R-E-K, Florin, F-L-O-R-E-N. Okay, we're going to have him shout us out and we have some big news coming really soon. All we could say is in 2009, big things in 2019. Okay, 19, yeah. 2009 plus <laughs> another 10. Oh my God, that was probably one of my best years actually. So, um, so we're going to be doing this. It is a uh, stripped, stripped live raw radio show. And it's not just about relationships we're talking about. We're talking about a little bit of everything. Okay? So if Any you have Any problems you have that yeah. we can help you with, please yeah. please email. Yeah. I just can't stress that enough. Email us with questions. That's right. So we can have more interaction next week with you guys. Most definitely. 
And so, um, what else do I want to say? I forgot. Oh, what, what I always say is this, is in this crazy world of ours, all right, we want to take you out of the craziness and bring you into our craziness. Now, into, <laughs> into a really awesome outlet where you could just come here, chill, positive vibes as always, love exactly. to all, everyone out there, you know, and we want to build such an amazing platform because there's so much love that we're bringing and we're giving to you guys, okay? It's all about good energy. And remember, never forget this, guys. From one day to the next, you never know who you're going to meet and how that person is going to change your life forever. Exactly. From one day to the next, you exactly. never truly know. Exactly. You know, so just be good to people, respect people. Count your blessings. Always be grateful. Absolutely. It's so important to be grateful. It really is, isn't it? Yes, look at those, definitely. Look at those gorgeous eyes. <laughs> what a smile. What a smile. So I have an awesome, beautiful, um, really smart, very intelligent, real estate. Thank you. Very, uh, real estate, right? Yes. If you need any real estate. That's right. Real estate. <laughs> cool. As well as she's a personal trainer. Trainer, yes. Yeah, you're a personal trainer for how long? You, um, you do classes and everything, Yeah, right? I just do classes. I don't do the one-on-one. -on -one. I like to do the classes, so... Mm. I've been doing that for about like four or five years now. Okay. Awesome. Very yeah. cool. So also, guys, we're going to be putting stuff out on our page and out on Facebook and Instagram. And what those are going to be, those are going to be our questions uh, daily. It could be weekly. Uh, just throw things out there for you guys to, um, you know, to just kind of have you think about things. Okay. So we want, again, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, I also want to shout out... Um, Saturday, uh, April 13th, which is going to be an amazing event. Rosemary G. Marino McMahon, um, Scotty V. Foundation. We're giving Zazway.com Music and Entertainment, Westchester Ballroom, Barbara Annes. We're, yeah, we're giving back 10% of our net profits are going back to the Scotty V. Foundation, nice. uh, which is awesome. Really, of course, it's a, you know, very dear to my heart because I lost my brother. Uh, 1984 from a motorcycle accident and mm -hmm. Scotty V of course um, you know uh, passed as well uh, about a year ago so mm -hmm. we're celebrating his life okay. and Scotty V Foundation is live your life and be free Eric Murillo beautiful song we're gonna be playing that song because that mm -hmm. was his that was his you know slogan basically so and that was his motto so we're gonna be playing that night but we have uh, we have VIP tables Still available, okay? So what we want, Amory Jameson and Peter Jameson, we love you guys. I, I was just thinking about you guys. Oh, man. So, um, so, uh, can you hold it? Oh, my God, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my God, my arm's really tight. Why don't we really just tight. put it down? But, because then we're going to oh, get the Oh, I can't, okay. Yeah, there you go. I'll try can you go to that? No, hold it with this hand. Can you hold it with oh, that? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Hold okay. Like Okay. He's got a position we want, No, we hand. want you to get you in there, too. I can't. My, so, your arm's longer. That's why. All right. <laughs> we'll just go no, I don't you. want you. I, want, <laughs> I, want, I don't want me all me. So, so, so as I was it. saying, Saturday, April 13th. There you go. Saturday, <laughs> April 13th, everybody. Um, from 8 o'clock, we'll have a Naomi. And the opening act, which we're ecstatic about, is Joseph Julian, okay, which is Joey Action singing his amazing songs, I'll Always Love You. And day by day, which are on uh, Zazria.com on our flashback work mix. So I want everybody to m make sure they uh, they check it out uh, and him out. Um, also, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, we have bottle service. Uh, we also, um, of course, City Yonkers own DJ Lenny Siena also in the house with guest DJs. Um, oh, yeah, right. I know. I was there for was so so v, so VIP table reservations. Oh, yeah. Kelly Osi Chiarella in the house. Oh. All right, so so VIP table res reservations nine one four seven seven three seven 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 three. That's nine one four seven seven three seven 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 three. Twenty five at the door. That's twenty five dollars at the door, and only twenty dollars on Eventbrite. Right now, if you guys are so Saturday, April 13th, we have raffle baskets. We have so many people to thank. Uh, Eleanor C. Oh, excuse me. Lenore C. I apologize. I can't remember everything. Lenore C. Um, High-end beauty baskets. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Lenore C. For uh, Catarazza. Lenore Catarazza, her beautiful 
um, now my arms high end high end beauty products. <laughs> Okay. High-end beauty products. Oh, my arm's okay. Tired. All right. So, <laughs> her high-end beauty products. Um, oh my God. I am. I'm. I'm very parched. That's why. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, hold on. Thank you so much. Thanks. High -end, her <laughs> yeah. high-end. How many times did I say that? High-end beauty high products. High-end beauty products. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, to Teresa Correnti, Cancer Smancher events since two thousand nine. As well as um, Touchstone Crystals, she's she has a basket, but but Lenore Cataraza actually um, has twelve beautiful baskets, raffle cool. baskets. How it's cool is that? Be a fun night. Yeah, it's gonna be an awesome night. Let's yep. see all you guys there. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And we have of course Tia Maria Montemuro, fashions by Tia Maria, events by Tia Maria dot com. Uh, no, no, we're talking about, oh, she, she oh, has no. a, she has a raffle basket as well. Oh, okay. She's donating too. So we're very thankful. All the people, uh, Patricia Roberts is donating baskets. So anybody that wants to donate, we really greatly appreciate a gift certificate. And of course, like we said, when you come in, uh, we also have our sponsors, Masiello and Sons Jewelers on, and Ardsley, uh, a rock star sponsor. We have, uh, Teresa Correnti, Touchstone Crystals, uh, Tia Maria Montemuro. Henry Jambale Real Estate, McLean Avenue, Pizza Barn, uh, McLean Avenue, as well in Yonkers. Uh, you know what? The home of the two foot super slice. So we have a lot of awesome sponsors, and many more to come. All right, guys. Um, I'm 25 minutes yes, out. Yes, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. John, how are you, Tanya? So you guys know what to do. Share, 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 and check out DJ Derek Florin right now. Love you guys. We love you guys. Until next time. Yeah. Remember. One day to the next, you never know who you're going to meet and how that person will change That's your life true. forever, right? And wait, what's the other saying? I'll remember it. Ciao. <laughs> Until next Monday. Ciao. Lucia. I'm Lenny. Yes. Lenny Lucia. <laughs> we are the Stripped Live Raw Radio Show on Zazzradio.com. God bless. God bless you guys. All right. And also, I have to mention, if you guys ever need, okay, a... Insurance quote, a quote for insurance, <laughs> okay? <funny>. Cavallo Insurance <laughs> Agency, Pat, Marina, and Christina, okay? That is Williamsbridge Road, Bronx, New York, okay? Cavallo, C-A-V-A-L-L-O, Insurance Agency, and that is in the Bronx, New York, Williamsbridge Road. If you need a, if you need renter's insurance, house insurance, car insurance, boat insurance, or commercial insurance, Go see my friend, Christina Cavallo and Pat Cavallo and Marina, okay, at Cavallo Insurance Agency. We love you guys. Love God you bless. Guys. Ciao. <laughs>